Hey everybody, it's Brooke with Refabbed and I am super excited. This is what we're making today. Be sure to sprinkle this video. That is just a fancy word for the S-H-A-R-E. But here is what we're doing. And you may see that shimmer. Well, guess what? That is this amazing iridescent, extra fine glitter. I am going to leave this attached for this, okay? But if you have one of these, you may want to take it off, but you don't have to, okay? Because I was able to work around it and still make it okay. Now you might get some on your twine. If you do, hey, you can paint the twine. It's okay, it doesn't matter. So I am doing white. I'm gonna start out with a white, um, white base. Then I'm gonna do Cardinal Crimson Red. So I'm gonna do red and white, and then I all I like, and I did in this one a little bit of cameo pink. And I'm gonna take my big paint. the top with it so I start and then I kind of curve it like this now I am not trying to do a perfect line I'm just trying to get a very very subtle outline I'm gonna do that one then I'm gonna start right back here in the center and kind of curve it over again okay see here we go we got eight pieces of the pie if you will okay so I'm gonna start right here with this and I'm gonna fill in this one with red. So it's literally every other one I'm doing red. Start kind of, I kind of outline where I just did the pink over with my red and then fill it in. And the white you're just gonna leave like it is. And then we're gonna add accents after we get everything done. And then after I paint this red, I'm gonna show you my finished product again just so you can keep a good idea about how I'm what I'm going towards here. So here's where we're at right now with this. So we've got a peppermint now. Like if you want to leave it like this, leave it like this because how cute is that? It's already a peppermint, but I'm extra and this is what I'm going for. It's this peppermint. Let's go ahead and paint the beads. I did it last, last time, but no reason to wait. Um, okay. so. Typically, I would not advise trying to paint your beads while it's on like this, but it's a lot of trouble to get this undone, and I was able to do it with just a little bit of being careful. So I'm just going to take my red paint, and I'm just going to start painting my bead. So I got them painted. That's pretty much dry, so I'm going to add one more coat of my red to the uh, red. So now I have it all covered in red. I've got the beads covered and this is what it looks like. Some of you that um, like things a little more traditional and not as extra, this is probably where you might stop. And it looks so cute. You could go ahead and add glitter now if you wanted to or you wouldn't have to. This is just regular acrylic paint. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the highlights to the white because that's dry and I'm just adding some pink. So the pink I showed you I used earlier, earlier is Cameo Pink. That is by Apple Barrel, it's 50 cents or something at Walmart. I'm adding a little bit to my paintbrush, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm starting here and I'm just doing a little swoosh of my paintbrush, okay? You can't think too much about it or it's gonna be too perfect and it's not gonna look right. You just kinda gotta swoosh it, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the back of the same paintbrush that I just used the red with, and I'm gonna put paint on it to make polka dots. Whichever swoosh you want to use, I'm gonna start with the one closest to the 
and it's kind of hard to explain which one, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting polka dots over, or not over, but um, kind of right before the swoosh. Um, so here's what this looks like, okay? See the polka dots over there on this side of the screen down below? I'm just gonna keep continuing on with that with my polka dots. So here's where we're at right now. Coming right along. And now the red is pretty much dry. So what I'm gonna do next is take the back of where I used my red paintbrush and I am going to get white. And I'm gonna make polka dots on it. This don't take as long as you would think. So now we've got the white one. How cute. Now what we're gonna do is add a little bit of white and pink swooshes onto the red, okay? I'm showing you each step so you can keep seeing it. So see how I added the pink? Isn't that cute? You don't have to do all this extra stuff. I just like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add white. I'm gonna add it right over here near the pink. The only thing left to do is in the center, and you don't have to do this part. If you wanna leave it like that, that's fine. But see how I did a little pink in the center to kind of bring it all together? I'm gonna to do that again. Um, I'm just gonna do, take, well, I'll just show you. I'm gonna take pink, and I'm literally gonna put right here in the center, I'm just gonna do a circle. And it's gonna, it's gonna kinda cover up a few of my polka dots. That's okay. So now I'm gonna take my red and just do little polka dots. It's okay that it's still wet. And just do little polka dots around the outside of the circle. Cute, cute, cute. Here we are. The red dots. Okay. Now, the final touch, okay? So it's looking cute. Here's, okay, let me show you before and after. Before it has any kind of glitter. This is before. This is after. So it shows you if you wanna add the glitter or not. I think it just totally sets it apart to add the glitter. That's my opinion. This is the key for me, Mod Podge Spray. What you can do, you don't have to use Mod Podge spray. You can use regular Mod Podge, but 100%, wait till it is 100% dry. So I'm gonna spray. Okay, now it's wet and it's clear. And I'm gonna take my glitter. It dries super fast, so I literally start putting my glitter on immediately. And then I'm gonna hold it up so that I can spray the back, I start dropping my glitter on the sides too. And ta-da! I really replicated that pretty dang close. The glitter sets it apart, I think. So, how easy and fun was that? I love these. You can do little small ones. You know, you get the little little rounds and all that. Oh my goodness, attach those to gifts, give them away, use them as ornaments. But these bigger ones just really pack a punch. The glitteral, the glitteral. <laughs> I was gonna say the glitter literally, and I said glitteral. The glitter literally does set this apart. Absolutely. Um, bye guys, y'all have a great day. Thanks for joining. I'll talk to y'all later.